Y'all already know what time it is. Got my chips, got my drink. Let's do this shit. Alright, I'm your boy Darren Henderson. Welcome uh, to my page, channel, whatever you want to call this. Um, let's just cut straight into this. So, like, punch me over. Alright, so today's video, I'm gonna keep this, I'm gonna keep this as short as I can. I'm really spent on doing it. But today's video is about the time I had to cuss out someone on my Facebook page. Um, if you guys don't know, I'm a huge fan of like, well, first of all, if I even start, say what I'm gonna say. If you guys can like, if you're watching this on YouTube, please like and subscribe. If you're watching this on Facebook, uh, please request some more content. Definitely on YouTube, just request more video content. I'll try to get to it as best as I can. I don't know when this video is gonna go up. I'm filming this on February 12th. I don't know when this video is gonna go up. Cause I'm so busy with schoolwork, I have to edit everything. It's like a lot. I don't really have time for it. So whenever it's gonna go up, it's gonna go up. Sure, it's still be fresh, whatever. Okay, so today's video, it's about the time I had to cuss out someone on my pay, uh, well, um, on one of my groups I, I own. Um, if you guys don't know, I'm a huge fan of like staying in the police. And so, a little background on that. Um, I've, uh, if you're on my, if, okay, if you're on my Facebook page, um, you notice that like at least I could say, I have like, seven, as of right now, I have like, what, like 700 friends, which is a lot of people. Half of them are musicians, half of them are like friends, actual friends, and then family, and then half of them are like, what I call them Sting Police people, because it's like a big family, you know what I mean? Like the whole Sting Police world, it's like a big family of us, of us fans. But I noticed there's like a divide. There's the general Sting Police fans, and there's the police fans, which I'm gonna get to. Then there's the uh, Sting fans, and there's like a small percentage. The Sting Police people, it's like half and half. There are people who just like the police, then the people who like, you know, like Sting and the police. And I noticed the people that like Sting and police, they're mostly like females, from like all over the world, and they're really, really nice people. And there's there's some guys too, I've gotten to know like Dominic, or um, oh, fuck. There's a lot of people. I'm, I'm, I, I Dominic, you're just one. If you're watching this, you're just one example. There's a lot of people. I mean, there's shitloads of people. I can't even start. But um, then there's you know, then there's just now the now just police people or the people that I notice are like that live in like France or Italy or like Spain or like Germany or whatever. And those are the people who, if you don't know, Stuart Copeland has his own little form called the Stuart Copeland Net. For like, he's had it for like the last decade. And those are the people that like really flock to like, you know, the just police people, most majority of them. And they're like the people that like, yeah, I'm gonna say his name, you can bring him here if you want. They're like the, you know, they're like the Dittmar people, Dittmar clothes, who back on at him, he has his own website called the Police Wiki. I'm not gonna get into it. You know, if you, if you want me to do a video about Dittmar, I have screenshots, I got receipts. I'm not trying to start a drama, but if you want me to do a video, I got tons of it and let me know. Um, but I've had a couple run-ins with Dittmar. Really not, I and mean, we passed it up and we're fine now. It's really just his friends that like, it's fucked our little group of people. I just like, he hangs out like, so I, I, not really he hangs out with that surround himself with him. I can't really explain it. They I don't like. And so I've had public, some public run-ins on them in some groups. And a lot of my friends know about it and they're not really allowed in my group I have now, which is the Sting Police Group. And so, I'm a oh god. I've, I've been preparing what I'm gonna say for a while, all day. I'm just gonna say that um, basically, I really like. Long story short, the original Sting Police Group I had from March of 2016 through about November 2016, and it was. I mean, there was kind of, it was a little. I had to. There was like drama in that. There was there was drama in that group, but basically, I had to um. I believe that group when Lynn Goldsmith, who if you want to me to do a video about that incident, I definitely will. Um, I don't know who, someone, like a new member, I've never seen that person. They had like, you know, told me to like, she told me to take down her picture. I didn't know I was using her picture. And so I had to leave the group. Well, I didn't have to. I'd leave the group because I just got tired of dealing with, you know, fucking stupid people. But I kind of felt bad because a lot of people were like upset that I'd leave the group. So I decided to make another group. I named it Sting the Police Group too. I mean, this it's a lot in between. I'm not going to get into all of it because I don't have a lot of time to film everything. I mean, 
I'm kind of short on storage on my phone, so I'm just gonna try to say as much as I can. Like I said, us, us Sting Police fans, we're like a family. And, um, there's one lady named my page then, you know, well, we're gonna call her Amy. Okay, so Amy, um, was there when I went, when I, you know, when I, when I, when the whole me and Dittmar thing popped, whenever she, whenever there was drama, she was always there. And I'm not there to say, like, she was always just there, like, to instigate. She was there because, you know, she was friends with, me, friends with me on Facebook. But I saw that, I noticed that during the 2016 election, she wasn't really, like, she never really, like, I noticed one thing about her. She never really actually picked a political candidate until, like, the very end of the election. And then she started to, like, make posts about how much she just, you know, support, how she doesn't really support Hillary or Donald, but she ended up voting for Trump. And, she, yeah, and I, I, I'm not a Trump supporter. I, everyone knows that I fucking hate Donald Trump. He's a, no, I'm not going to get into that. But when he won, I mean, she kind of was, like, she just put up, I remember she did, like, a live, a live video of, like, his, uh, she had, she, she, her, she and all her little, you know, old white friends all had this little, like, election party. I mean, inauguration party. I mean, I didn't really, that's her business, but I didn't really start posting politics on my page, like, last August when Trump, I really just start posting politics after Trump, you know, did the whole neo-Nazi, when the whole neo-Nazi thing, if you remember that, and when he, you know, didn't condone neo-Nazi, he actually commended what happened in Charlottesville, I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna start talking about politics, if you don't like it, you, you can buy my, buy my shorts. I noticed that Amy was a little bit upset because, you know, like all Trump supporters, whenever you, because I, I mean, you know, I normally don't post, po before, I never really post politics. I try to steer away from that because I didn't know who's going to read my posts. Now, I mean, I don't give a fuck. W who cares about anything? I, I'm pretty, I'm a, I'm a pretty open book when it comes to Facebook. But back then, I was a little quiet about that. So, when I started posting about pol politics, it wasn't really about politics. At first, people liked what I had to say. No one really said anything, no one really said anything against it. But I noticed that, like, you know, last September, I put up this one post. It wasn't really even about politics. Roger Waters from Pink Floyd, if you guys remember. Um, you know, he's been on this tour for, like, The Wall for, like, ages. And so, basically, I said, you know, he's just, there's a part in the show where, like, he has a pig that comes down. And it says, like, Trump is a pig. I thought it was pretty brilliant. So, I posted, I said, you know, ro very ignorantly, Roger Waters on an anti-Trump tour. He's not really on an anti-Trump tour. It's just his part of the show. And Amy saw that, and she's like, well, you know, stop posting politics. Keep posting about Sting and the police. And, you know, I don't like people telling me what to do, especially people I don't really know tell me what to do on Facebook, and they tell me what to post. You know, you're an old white woman. You know, so it just irritated me. So I told her, you know, well, you can just get off my page, you know. And, I mean, long story short, I tagged my friend. My friend, Brooke, well, at the time, my friend Brooke. If you want me to do a video about her, I will. I don't know how this shit is going to cause my friend Lissa, my friend Sarah, my sister Mari, they all kind of went off on her. And my friend Lissa cussed her out, and she unfriended me. And then Allison was there, and then Pam was there, and they all kind of cussed her out. And so she unfriended me, and then she, then she said, well, you know, cause she, she, I, she was also in my, my group. You know, well, oh, and don't kick me out of the group, which kind of also pissed me off because it's my group. And you can't tell me who, you know, you can't, it's, if it's my group, I, I'm in charge of who gets to stay in it and leave. So... I, I, I kind of, you know, was like, well, you know, I, I can kick you off if I want. It's kind of like that. And so, um, for the next couple of months, I didn't really, she, you know, I didn't have any run-ins with her in the group personally. But recently, back in like January last month, I announced to the group I was leaving, you know, after, you know, I, I was, I was going to leave the group. I'm not going to do that anymore. About the time I was thinking about leaving. So I was like, well, you know, um, yeah, I'm going to leave the group and, um, if anyone, if anyone wants to be admin, you know, I'm, I have other admin friends like my friend Jonathan Kant or my friend Saul, Saul Saragossi and there's Dominic and Alan. And then I think Jonathan has his friend named Marty. I mean, you know, they all want to be admins, but um, I'm like, I'm just going to leave and I'm going to give I'm gonna give the group to whoever wants to run it. Or not run it, but help run it. And so Amy really wanted to run the group. And so I said, well, I didn't, okay, first of all, she asked, she asked Jonathan if... She could help run the group. And I didn't really, I didn't really trust that happening because to be an admin, you have to be friends with all of us because, you know, we have to all be on the same page. We all have to like each other at least. And plus, I mean, I kind of felt a type of way about what happened in September, so I didn't really, like, acknowledge that. Plus, Jonathan had a friend named Marty who wanted to be an admin, and he seems like a pretty friendly guy, so, I mean, okay, whatever. So, he became admin, and she kind of, was, she kind of felt a type of way about that. 
So a month later, when I so you know when I said, well, hey, if, like I said, I'm leaving the group. If anyone wants to run the group, you know, help run the group. Well, Amy said she really wanted to run the group, and you know, I I decided, okay, well, sure, you know, it, whatever. I gave her a chance, but I noticed very quickly, and be, between I noticed between the time that she unfriended me and this incident, like three four months, she has a smaller steam police group, and Amy would always talk about how her group is better than my group or well, she wouldn't say that but she'd always allude to her group and oh if I, if I don't if you know if you don't like it here you can come to my group she'd always say stuff like that but I kind of just shook it off and another thing that bothered me which I'm going to get to is that you guys know I like to post cupcake to be the fuck with people well, if you're on Facebook you know I post cupcake to, just to be a troll <laughs> and I first posted the, this cupcake video So deep, I can't speak a sentence. First posted this back in April. Shit, no, it was August of last year. I noticed in the comments, Amy said, "Are you drunk?" And I'm like, "I mean, I, I don't, I don't drink. I'm mom and old enough to drink. I'm only 20." So when she said that, I'm like, "What?" You know, I, I ignored that. I, I actually laughed at her comment because I thought she was trying to be funny. But I mean, you know, now I think about it, I'm like, "What?" But so. For the last couple of weeks, you know, she's been saying, well, up leading up to this incident, she's been saying, well, why can't I be the admin? I deserve it. I asked first. And I'm like, you know, basically, I try, I try to have fun with it. I made it where, like, I was going to, you know, it wasn't really a shit show because it never actually really happened. So, okay, it wasn't, it wasn't a success either. But I said, well, you know, what if you have, like, a campaign where, you know, you basically campaign yourself to the rest of the group and you get to be admin that way. And if whoever, you know, people in the group like for most, you get to be run it, but you know she wasn't with that. She kept saying, "Well, I deserve to be adding because I have my own group, and I and I'm more of a fan than you guys." And I'm like, "What?" Post one day in the group, and um, I tagged Dominic in it, and I tagged Amy in it, and I tagged uh, another guy named Dan who also wanted to be admin. And I went off to dinner, and at dinner I, I remember that day I was eating spaghetti because like our school never serves spaghetti. So and the and the and the, and the year I'm going to school, they never serve spaghetti except for this one day. So I was and spaghetti is like my favorite food in the world. So I was eating spaghetti. And I happened to see her comment on the post, and she was like, well, you know, what did she say? I, I, I got my receipts. Well, I mean, you know, I, like to be, I would like to be admin. I've said this enough, but, I mean, if you're going to ignore me, I mean, psh. And I was like, well, and I was saying, well, I'm not ignoring you, but, I mean, I don't give random – I'm not going to give you the job randomly. You have to actually work for this shit. That's how it works. And on, she was basically saying, well, you know, at first she said you couldn't find anybody, but now, you know – you know now now you're looking for an admin like if you don't like that I'm just gonna be a regular member and I'm like okay like I said I didn't I didn't tell the real reason why I didn't want her to be admin because like you know I, I didn't want to be an asshole but it's just I, I wouldn't I wasn't really feeling a good vibe from her you know what I mean that's why I really didn't get for the job and plus I mean she you know she, the way we kind of ended things on my page I don't know her personally but it was kind of like shitty so that's why I didn't want to get for the job but then um this work, see, and now I was trying to be, I was really trying to be professional, but she's really trying to piss me off. So I said on February 11th, which was yesterday, I said, um, it was going to be yesterday. I said, well, by February 11th, I want you guys to like come together and, you know, and like be creative and make a post introducing yourself to the group and, you know, and saying who you are. Cause like no one knows who you are. I'm pretty sure no one knows. You don't really post a lot of stuff except for about your fucking group. No one knows who you are. Advertise yourself. And so I was trying to be like, I was really trying to be professional. I actually was talking to Dominic and Jonathan and Allison. I was like, this bitch is about to fucking make me lose my, I'm about to like really turn up. <laughs> and Jonathan was like, well, I was like, let's just kick her out of the group. And I'm like, I want to give her a chance. But then she's like, well, you know, I've introduced myself in the last post. You know, Darren, I've seen Steam like before, like seven times, even before you were born. That probably means nothing to you. Bitch. I mean, that's when I decided to be a fucking bitch. And I'm like, Okay, well, if you're gonna be a, I'm like, if you're gonna be just crass, sarcastic, then you don't have to say anything. I don't have to make you anything. And then I said, you know what? You you tried. I tried being professional, but you're about to make the inner hood come out of me. 
And then that's when she, you know, that's when I said, you know, well, if you don't like it here, you know, bye, bitch. And I basically, basically, I, I, I called her out her name. I, I felt pretty, I felt pretty bad. I called her a bitch. And then, of course, you know, I start cussing her out. And I said, you know, you can get the fuck out. And Allison came in and Allison was like, you know, using gifs saying, you know, telling her to leave. And I felt, I felt bad about, like, I, I, I don't like, I didn't, I don't feel bad about cussing her out. I feel bad the way I handle it. But, um, you know, it's like, I'm, see, I'm trying to go through my receipts right now. I was just telling her that being an admin is like a very, very, you know, hectic job. And, you know, and I'm looking, I'm looking at all my screenshots right now, and it's like, I'm, I, you know, I, what I said to her, I said, you know, you're upset because I put a post about Trump last September, and, you know, you're upset because you got, you know, you support Trump and I don't, and that's why you're in front of me. And, you know, I said, I tried being professional, but, you know, you're really, you're really making it hard for me, and that's why I'm cussing you out. And she said, and I also told her, oh, and I will be doing a video about this, <laughs> which I'm doing right now. And she said, well, you know, you such language on here. You know, you you know, you like playing guitar and you like being drunk. And I'm like, and I, that, make any, that doesn't make any difference because Trump's our president. And the more I think about this, you know, the whole being drunk comment, you know, first of all, I'll be a racist bitch. What does that have me being, I'm not, I was sober. I was literally drinking soda and, you know, cranberry juice. I mixed that together. I know, I know, gross. Good to meet them. I was eating spaghetti. I like two plates of spaghetti. And I'm drunk. Honey. Honey. And then she said, well, you know, you need to support Trump because he's our president. And then Allison was like, and then I remember Allison going, well, I mean, you know, I think she laughed about that. She said she did something. And I said, well, you know, first of all, I'm not even old enough to, to drink. And are you saying I'm drunk because I'm black? Like, I've never, drunk a, I've never drunk alcohol a day in my life. So, like, what the hell? So, I mean, at that point, you know, then she's like, well, that's why you get all these weird people. And that's where you get, you know... I think she's referring to stuff like Dittmar or Lynn Goldsman. That's why we have people like that because, you know, you're already acting like a hater. Which, the, the more I think about this, I, I, the more I'm like, what the fuck? So I said, um, you know what? I said, I was calling Jonathan, don't kick her out. I actually want to cuss her out. Like, this is, I'm, I'm, I, I was getting so, like, I was shaking. When I, when I get really mad, I start shaking. Plus, this woman was giving me, like, really, really good content. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Then I posted a picture, which I put down here, of me at dinner, and I'm like, do do I do I look drunk? Like, what what part of this fucking photo do I look drunk? And you know, and so she didn't really say anything because I mean she left, but I mean, you know, it, it's. Then I said something, you know, she didn't read it, but I just said, you know, and being a musician, you know, being a guitar player doesn't erase the fact that you're just being fucking rude as shit. Like, good lord, that that was the end of that. Um, you know. Honestly, I don't ask for this. I don't ask for trolls. I don't ask for people like her to be, you know, I don't know. I, you know, like, like once again, she, you know, she didn't block me. So apparently I don't think she hates me. And you know, I don't hate her. I'm just saying like, it just from now on, from now on, I will start, you know, I got receipts. I will start making videos like this. If you guys want me to, I'm just these crazy ass, you know. Do you want me to do, should I call them policers? Stingers? It's crazy ass motherfuckers. I got receipts. And I got chips. And lemonade. So. So we got to pull out these chips and these lemonade. Because I put your ass in blast. And then I said, you know, on the, on, on the next post, I think I said something along the lines of, well, I didn't want to cuss her out. I felt kind of weird about how this all went down. But I don't want to cuss people out. I don't like cussing people out. It's not how I was raised. Well, it's not even that. It's like, it's 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 beneath me. But don't push me there. You know, don't don't call for me. Don't come for me unless I fucking call for your ass. Other than that, I'm a hand to your ass. That was Sage's video. <laughs> you know, of me uh, being petty and you know, drama. If you guys want to see more of this, which I know you probably do, or not. I don't know. This is all over the place. I'm not really good at story time. This is really my first professional story time because I'm uploading it to YouTube. I'm actually going to like, do some fancy shit, fancy shit with it once I edit this. Maybe if I'm watching this, maybe I didn't. Anyway, but um, like, subscribe, all that good stuff if you're on YouTube. If you're on Facebook, uh, keep, you know, like my, uh, my post. And I put my, fa for, for, you, for the YouTubers, I put my Facebook uh, page down below if you want to come follow me. Um, I'm your boy Dan Henderson.